All right, so friends, um, basically, I got this data from the Group Lens um, uh, website, and you can see over here, this data looks very ugly and tattered and unkept. All right, so friends, as you can see over here, if I just click on this, this particular entire data set is just on one column, just on one cell. Right, so there's no separation, it's, it's just on this particular cell A, and we have this entire data set just on one cell. And what I want to do, friends, is to make each information be on its own um, colon. For example, this should cut, be on the colon A, this should be on the colon B, this should be on the colon C, and the rest of the other data set. Right, so, my friends, that's basically what I, I want to do here right now. Right, so, without wasting much of your time, friends, I'm going to be teaching you how you can um, do this. Um, using your Excel spreadsheet, right? The, the whatever you learn here, friends, I, I want to tell you, um, is going to last for for you and is going to help you really well on when you um start using programs like the R programming language, the R Studio, um, the Jupyter Notebook for Python, and the rest. Alright, so friends, if you are the type that like to work offline, you will find this particular very much handy. So I'm going to be teaching you basically how to clean up your data set, especially when you get them from online. And they look so tattered like this one. All right, so friends, without wasting much of your time, I'm just going to show you how you can do this. All right, so friends, if you see over here, if you scroll down, we have um, lots of data set. I can't really scroll down. We have over a thousand data over here. All right, so we have over a thousand data over here. It's it's a, it's a fairly large data set. All right, so friends, basically, how do we do this? So what I'm going to do right now is I've already shown you how we can easily highlight our entire data set. Now, something about this data set is that it just exists in this column. All right, the data set exists in only in one column. We don't have any data set on the column B. If I type on this, you can see we don't have anything on the column. This this column, we don't have anything, any data there. We don't have any data on this. All our data set exists just on this column. Different rows, but on one column. All right, so friends, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to type, click on this particular cell. All right, I'm going to hold my control key, my shift key, and then press my down arrow key. All right, so friends, that's going to highlight the entire data set down to the end. And you can see we have 1,683 um, records here in our Excel spreadsheet. All right, so now that I've highlighted this entire data set, friends, now the next thing I'm going to do right now is come over to this data section. All right, if we click on this data tab, we click on text to column. All right, if you click on text to column, friends, now it's going to um, show you fixed width or delimited um, option. All right, so I'm going to click on a delimited um, option. And I'm going to click on next. All right, now that I've clicked on next, friends, I can see my data, just a preview over here. You can see the preview of your data set or, um, over here. All right, so whatever you're doing over here, the changes you're making over here is going to be showing up um, right in this section. All right, so the next thing is going to be asking me is um, the delimiter. All right, in other words, the separator um, that separates my different data. All right, so if you can see over here, friends, um, on this particular data set, I hope I can, um, let me just close this up. All right, you can see over here, um, you can see we have um, a bar, right? We have a particular sign over here separating one and Toy Story. Right? This particular line is the separator. Right? So I'm going to specify to um, Excel that this is the separator. This particular line over here, it exists for the data set. For example, this line is the separator. So make this line the separator. And then it's, so it's also over here. Now you can see over here, friends, in between these two sections, we have a line and a line also. Then if Excel converts this data set, what you're going to have over here is an empty column for the entire data set. You're going to have an empty column for this section, right, for our entire um, data set. I hope you can see my cursor, right? So for, let me just do this, highlight it over here. This section over here is going to show us that um, we have an empty column for our data set. So we are going to definitely have one column where we don't have any data set, right? But for this, we are going to have this exist in its own column, um, zero exist in its own column, this other zero exists in its own column and the likes. So the separator basically um, is um, this over here. Right? It looks like the logical or operator. All right, so friends, the next thing we're going to do right now um, is having highlighted this data set, right? So what I'm going to do right now, friends, is um, just going to highlight this again. All right, so I'm going to click on this data set, control shift, down arrow key, and then I'm going to come to the data section, um, text to colon, then I'm going to click on delimited option, and I'm going to click on next. Now what I'm going to do right now, Excel is asking me, is your data separated by comma, is it separated by space, is it separated by semicolon? Well, it's not. I'm going to tell Excel it's separated by others. All right, so I'm going to say others, and then in that others, I have to uh, specify the symbol 
that my that separates my data and that's this symbol all right so this is the symbol that separates my data all right so i just put in the symbol over here and excel is able to read my data set and you can see excel does a great job all right it was able to separate the data set into different columns all right just so you can see what excel is doing over here all right so you can see it has separated my data into different um columns all right uh, just like we expected we were expecting um an empty column um at some point for that that's this particular section over here all right just after the date you can see we have the separator coming up and then no text in between them and then it repeats itself for the entire data set all right so friends the next thing i'm going to do right now having done this i'm going to just say next all right if i'm okay with this and um, the next thing i'm going to do right now is click on finish all right all right so friends you can see over here our data now is very much clean don't worry about this sign over here you can see it's just telling you that the width um is not properly set so i can just double tap on this section i just go up to the place where i see the heading c just double tap here and then it will fit to width all right so friends that's basically how um um i can also double tap here just to see the full website why i really don't need to do that all right so friends um that's basically how we can um convert um our text to um colon all right, so if you double tap on the on this section you be it will fit to it double tap over here it fits to it double tap over here it fits to it double tap over here double tap over here it fits to it all right so you can just go ahead and um practice what you've learned using your worksheet all right so friends basically that's how we can convert and then make our data sets be in a form of table i like to do this basically friends when i um want to work with r and python um, basically i don't like to work online sometimes to copy the url and put i like to take the data set bring it over to excel clean up the data set and then convert it to a table because sometimes when you bring it up the the first time it's just going to look as tattered as it was All right so i just bring it over here and then when i'm done um cleaning the data set like this All right, what i'm going to do next is save it as a csv file and i'm going to read it into the r um, um, um studio or the Jupyter Notebook. All right, so friends, without wasting much of your time, I'd like you to just take some time out and practice uh, what you've learned. I promise you this tool is going to be very much handy if you're into data science.